Good evening there, friends, and welcome once again. <clears throat> My name is Gerald, here with Innovate Church here in Kannapolis. Uh, here to read our psalm for tonight. And as always, we pray that it's a blessing and encouragement to any of you that are here. If this is your first time with us, welcome. That is our prayer for you, that you are blessed and encouraged. So tonight's psalm, Psalm 54, is entitled, The Lord Upholds My Life. O oh God, save me by your name, and vindicate me by your might. O oh God, hear my prayer, give ear to, my, to the words of my mouth. For strangers have risen against me, ruthless men seek my life. They do not set God before themselves. Behold, God is my helper, the Lord is the upholder of my life. He will return the evil to my enemies, and your faithfulness put an end to them. With the free will offering, I will sacrifice to you. I will give thanks to your name, O Lord, for it is good. For he has delivered me from every trouble, and my eye has looked in triumph on my enemies. So tonight we have a short and sweet psalm. You know, and David reminds us here that God is our helper. And no matter what your situation is, you're not going through it alone. If you're suffering pain, the Lord is there with you, suffering that same pain with you. He does not enjoy seeing his children hurt. You know, he can look down here today and we know all the violence and hurt feelings and, and riots and all this good thing that's going on around us or not good thing. You know, he sees it. He sees the pain of his people. And he knows it well himself. As Christ walked the earth, he was persecuted. He was treated unjustly. And thank God he suffered for you and I, so that you and I don't have to. Friends, he says, For he has delivered me from every trouble, and my eye has looked in triumph on my enemies. One day we will all be victorious over everything that Satan throws at us. And yes, I'm saying what Satan throws at us. He sows discord. He sows hate. He sows injustice. His joy is to seek and kill, or cause division, and cause us to question God's protection, provision, and His love and care for us. If there's any kind of discord, Satan's the one that's creating it. Now, God is a God of unity. He is a God of peace. If we look at Jesus' life, there's a few different recordings of him actually praying for us to be a unified people. And he's not talking about denominational breakdowns. He doesn't want that. He wants us all to be unified in our belief, our love for him, and our love for our neighbor. And then Paul reiterates that all through his letters as well. He too prayed for unity for the people. He fought for unity for the church against the, the Jews before him, trying to get them to, the, the new Jews that were accepting Christ to, to also accept the other nations, the Gentiles, that were the people that were not Jews, to get them to be unified together and stop having the small divisions between themselves or big divisions, you know, to not allow their minute beliefs to separate them from their ultimate belief their belief in Jesus Christ and His love and His sacrifice on the cross for them. So friends, I pray, whatever it is your situation is today, if you're being unjustly treated, God will one day put an end to it. Justice will come for all of us one day in Christ's name. So friends, I just leave you with that as always. If this has been a blessing and encouragement to you, I just ask that you share it with someone else so that they too can be blessed and encouraged by God's word. Friends, have a wonderful evening and we'll see you again tomorrow night.